So what is going on guys? This is your boy Jason here recording another video and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to mirror your Android device onto the Amazon TV Fire Stick and to just get it mirrored onto your screen because everybody's having problems with this and today I just want to give you guys a heads up on the best and most the easiest way to do it a hundred percent now to make sure you guys understand completely this will not give you the ability to touch this screen and be able to control it with the whatever phone that you guys do have this will just be able to mirror it onto here this is just going to literally just grab the screen and put it here um so you can utilize it while driving so like this would kind of honestly work with um using Google Maps, you know, you can put maps on, put it into the cup holder. Sorry, I have had Subway yesterday. Um, and then be able to use Google Maps, Netflix, YouTube, whatever app you want to do without having to go and, and just have one of these and have your phone displayed. So this is the best way to do it 100%. So what you're gonna wanna do first is buy a Amazon TV Fire Stick. This was $45 when I bought it. It might be a little bit cheaper. You don't need the one with the mic. You can just get the regular one. The one with the mic is pretty useless. The Amazon TV Fire Stick, have it plugged in to the HDMI port and it fits perfectly. I have the wire cable going along the side of my seat so that way you guys don't see it kind of. And then I have a little USB hub that I have plugged into the uh, USB slot so that way I have some extra slots helps when you have people in your car and they need to charge their phones or something or just need a USB for whatever. So I have that plugged in into the little slot, boom, close it, it's gone. So you're gonna wanna go into HDMI and that's the Amazon TV Fire Stick. You do not need to have this plugged in, or I'm sorry, using a hotspot to utilize the features. Now this, I would use it solely for the mirroring capability because it's wireless. I don't have to have anything plugged into the, the, the actual, my actual phone, the Galaxy S7. Um, I just have a USB cord that's plugged into a, into a, uh, a little uh, PNY battery hub kind of thing, like a battery external charger. So that way, uh, if, wherever I'm going, I'm on the go, I will always have a charged battery because my phone's basically 100%. Like I, I need to have that thing up and running at all times. So, this is the Amazon TV Fire Stick. It'll calibrate itself if you, as soon as you turn it on, put it into the car, it's gonna calibrate the, the uh, display. I don't know what it's displaying at. I think it might be 720 or 1080i. I'm not sure. The uh, display won't tell me exactly. It just says it's on auto. Um, but just know that this is very high quality. Like, it looks very good in the car. I don't know how it's gonna look on camera, but it looks very good on the car. And it's actually pulling in Wi-Fi from somewhere right now. That's why it's showing you all the apps. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi because this too, see? Um, so I'm going to forget, boom. So I have no Wi-Fi going in. I'm gonna go back to home and it should go away right now. There you go. So I have no Wi-Fi plugged in, boom, it's done. Um, so now to mirror your uh, your Apple, or I'm sorry, not your Apple device, I already made a video on that. To mirror your Android device, what you're gonna wanna do is hold the home button, and it's gonna say mirroring. Click that option. Now I have my Amazon TV Fire Stick labeled as Jason's Fire Stick. So when you have your, uh, your Android device open, on the Galaxy S7 or the 7 series or the 6 or the 5s, I think it's the same exact way. There's a little drop down arrow, and it's called Smart View. You're gonna wanna click that. That's going to automatically cast to it. Displaying mirroring is starting soon. And this is without using any internet. This is just using the connection between the phone and the Amazon TV Fire Stick. As you guys can see here, it's mirroring it. Um, it's doing all the functions. It's mirroring it 100%. So let's say real world use, you wanted to use Google Maps, but you don't have this kind of thing that I have. So it's gonna show everything. Like I said, you can't touch it, it won't work. You have to utilize the phone's features and type in where you wanna go. Let's go to Target. Um, Target and Carson, here we go. I don't go to that Target anyways, but as you can see, it's mirroring it fully. It has everything going. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi over here where I'm at isn't very great, but 
um, if you're on like the regular 4G LTE or whatever uh, internet that you have, it's gonna work better. So as you can see here, it's mirroring at 100%. Um, you can have the phone put away and you can just have this up there and it'll work, no problem. So that's uh, Google Maps. But people are gonna ask me like, what about, oh, I wanna drive around with it. The e-brake's gonna stop me. Okay, to fix that problem, what you're going to want to do is hold the power button, the home button, and the eject button at the same time. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. It's going to come up with this menu. You're going to want to click detailed information and setting. And you're going to hold the menu button for a couple of seconds. Once that comes up, you're going to want to click vehicle model information. And you're going to want to click the DD VSP error. This, I already turned it off, so that way I already had it off for this video, but you can click. It was It's originally going to be on. That's what's going to keep you from driving with the e-brake down. You want to click it off. Return, return. You can click the back button too. That's fine. And then HDMI again. So now the error is off. This setting does not stick. You're going to have to do it every single time. But with Amazon TV Fire Stick, it just it's it's so simple. All you gotta do is have that plugged in and just click the mirroring button. Each phone is different, so you're gonna have to figure out where your mirroring button is on your device. But this the Amazon TV Fire Stick will mirror to pretty much any device. I think Apple is the only thing that it has problems with. So this is the best and most solid way that uh, you're able to mirror your phone wirelessly without having to have anything plugged in other than utilizing the HDMI socket. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to drive for a second. And this is not using any data. I'm not having any data plugged into the actual uh, Amazon TV Fire Stick. I'm just utilizing the, uh, the connection between the phone and the Amazon TV Fire Stick. route it's gonna do everything it usually does so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helps this is the best and most solid way to mirror your Android device no matter what model it is onto your uh, Honda display I hope this guys help hope this helps you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video peace